Hello everyone, my name is Ravi Bharadwaj and I'm back with lecture series on science. Today's topic is going to be global warming and climate change and my uh, discussion is going to be focusing mainly on the impacts of global warming and climate change. So, so when we look at, for example, global warming, we talk about different greenhouse gases and you know, a couple of them are, for example, carbon dioxide, uh, methane, nitrous oxide and then we have fluorofluorocarbons and you know, water vapors and others. But main culprit here is carbon dioxide and why it is that is because carbon dioxide you know um, basically contributes to GHGs about 80 percent so that's a major contributor and then we have uh, methane which is about 11 percent and then we have nitrous oxide which is about 6 percent so main source of carbon dioxide is burning of fossil fuel. All you know, all of us know that. And uh, uh, you know, and then the methane and nitrous oxide basically coming from raising the livestock. So so all these three are three gases what we are pumping today in the atmosphere are causing greenhouse effect, and that is causing the temperature to rise. And all of these three are preventable. That is that is the main uh, point here. But if we look at Earth's history, for example, we have not seen such a rise of uh, CO2 levels in such a short time. So when we look at, for example, for instance, uh, you know, 1890, it was only 280 parts per million. Whereas when you look at 2016. Uh, it has reached over 400 parts per million. If we go back in history around 400,000 years, then we see that around that time it was only 160 uh, parts per million. So we are much more than, than what we were in our recent history. If you go back into time, uh, around 50 to 55 million years back, we saw the similar events where the carbon dioxide level went up uh, very quickly and you know the geologists and you know, geochemists from all around the world uh, try to basically find out what happened in that period and how can we relate that period to the to our current situation so in that period uh, you know around 50 to 55 million years back this is called PETM uh, Paleocene Eocene uh, thermal maximum and during that time, it took around 20,000 years for you know carbon dioxide level to rise very quickly in a very short time, and that led to 8 degrees Celsius, approximately 8 degrees Celsius rise in temperature. What does that? What did that 8 degrees Celsius did to the life at the time? It eradicated 50% of the life on this planet Earth. So 50% of life went extinct within that time period. And that is the biggest cause of concern for me, because in that time it still took 20,000 years, you know, for for that to happen. But currently, when we look at our data, it tells me that you know, around uh, from 1890, so you know, and and 2016, we see around uh, 126 years uh, led to one degree Celsius already. That's a very short period of time for such a you know huge rise in uh, temperature and and one degree Celsius might not look too much to many people or eight degree Celsius even but you can imagine that eight degree Celsius can wipe out 50 percent of the all life form from this planet so that's a huge number as far as the temperature is concerned now what what happens what are the impacts of you know that's where I'm going to probably focus on so basically when we start looking at rise in temperature because of these GHGs what we see is that you know all the snow and ice which is basically on both on the North Pole and South Pole you know is starting to melt now and that's a major chunk you know uh, especially the Antarctic you know ice sheets are melting and, and same thing is happening on the North Pole and if it continues it's gonna keep on rising our sea levels and the next impact of this is going to be 
all our coastal cities would be underwater. For instance, New York would be underwater. Many other cities all around the globe would be underwater. Many coastal countries like Maldives, Sri Lanka, many other coastal countries would be underwater as well in a very short time. And when I say short time, it is from 50 to 100 years, not too long of a time. So that is first impact. The second impact of global warming is that we're going to see severe weather patterns. And what I mean by that is the hurricane is going to be much more stronger than what we see today. There's going to be huge floods. There's going to be a lot of rain, you know, and and also you're going to see severe winters in the areas where there's more, there are colder regions, for example. You're going to see much more harsher summers where there are hotter uh, areas, for instance. So all of this is going to impact human population. It's going to be a lot of people dying out of these, you know, all these events. But the worst part of this is that when this starts happening, this is like a cycle. So one thing I want to definitely mention here is that when carbon dioxide starts going up and it starts raising the temperature like it did one degree Celsius already, what happens is it also starts raising the temperature of this, the sea. And within the ocean, you know, within under, under the ocean, if you look at the bottom of the oceans, there are, there are a lot of uh, dead animals, you know, where, where basically all the microorganisms die and all the fishes and all the animals of the ocean die, they get deposited there. And uh, since the temperature is lower, so they form methane gas when they decay. But what happens is the methane gas is entrapped in that, uh, you know, uh, at the bottom of the ocean. But when the temperature starts rising, and that's exactly what happened 55 million years back that when the temperature rose it started releasing that methane gas and what methane gas did is that it accelerated the process of um, warming up the, you know, the atmosphere and that is what my biggest fear is that once the CO2 level starts going more up you know and the temperature goes up it's gonna start releasing the methane gas which is 20 times more potent than carbon dioxide Similarly, when you look at the nitrous oxide, for example, it's 200 times more potent. So, so, but my biggest fear is that the t rising temperature of the ocean water is going to lead to release of methane, and that is, has to be taken very seriously. So if we do not do anything, then you know, we, we are in a very big trouble. And other things you see, when these things start happening, if you look at the social economic impact of these, you're gonna have less drinkable water, you know, which already is a scarce commodity. And then you're gonna have many um, life forms like insects going extinct, you know, as uh, for example, the honeys or any other insects you see, which helps in pollination. So what we'll see is the world crop, you know, would start failing and we would not have the fruits and the vegetables and the you know any other crops which we grow because we are gonna lose these in, you know insects very quickly and that is gonna have a huge impact so water source going down and the, the drinkable water going down and the food scarcity what it causes is causes chaos all around the world government starts failing and it's gonna be impossible to control that and that's where I see now the population of the world for instance we see is around more than seven billions already and it's increasing but when you see this coming in future that means less water to drink less food to eat and all these uh, other impacts i talked about you're seeing a world much more different you know than what we see today and 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 that that that's where my biggest fear is and, and eventually as it starts you know as it starts rising more and more the temperature it is going to impact all of us you know adversely in a very very bad uh, way especially our coming generations so what we need to do we need to take this as, as extremely serious step as you know I mean you know very seriously because it's very much similar to having a cancer in our body and we just ignore it we know we know if we, we say we have a lifespan of 70 years or 100 years and we have this cancer around 30 years you know of our age we don't want to just die you know when we are 35 same thing is happening to earth right now that we will cut short our you know human uh, and you know uh, existence on this planet because because of what we are doing to our environment and if we do not take any action this is definitely 
you know going to affect us so the the entire you know purpose of this lecture is to to make the government severe you know every citizen has to involve from each country this is not a country specific problem this is a global problem and it has to be addressed you know at the at the, at the highest level and then take action because if we didn't take action we're going to be too late and we already are too late and when it comes to uh, carbon dioxide we comes to other gases we already reached to a point that say if we stop pumping these gases tomorrow it's going to still take five to six hundred years to uh, reach to a level which is a safe level so it's still you know and is it possible to cut them tomorrow the answer is no but what we can do is make the government severe that do something about this within a couple of you know years to make sure that you know we at least reduce and then stop eventually because and and both of them are preventable you know one say for example methane and nitrous oxide is coming from livestock and co2 is coming from burning of fossil fuel and both of them are preventable i know this is a very tough task but this can be achieved and if we want to secure our future generation we need to take this step at the highest level with the highest you know kind of emergency because if we if we just ignore this every one of us and then coming generation you know would would have the brunt of this problem and this is all human created problem and we need to find a solution we must find a solution to to resolve this problem and this problem can only be resolved if every one of us does their part so thank you very much for watching this